Hello, my hustlers. How y'all doing today? Come on in with this Hollywood hood girl to the hood. Come on, y'all. Let's get this movie started. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. All right. The production is Dim Next. <laughs> And the director is Rice today. They, it came back to visit us. Mm. This is still Dell camera. I hate the GoPro. And I'm going to tell y'all in a minute why. This is scene two. Take one. Let's roll the tape. Well, come on in. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks and sit and chat with this only one hood girl to the hood. Hey, y'all. Come on in. All right, y'all. Let's say quick prayers. And then we are going to uh, get ready to eat. And um, then we're going to just talk about something. Bow your heads, if you will. My God, I just said thank you for another day. Thank you for health and strength and sound minds. Bless those who have gone already. Bless their families and sorrows. Take care of those who have no home. And bless those who have no food. Forgive us of the sins we've committed against you by any word, deed, or thought. And let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. I love you, Lord. And I need you. Have your way. In your way only, Lord. Thank you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I know the phone always ring. That was my sister. I'm going to have to call her back. Okay. All right, y'all. I got the queen. I got the queen. The queen shining through. The queen is shining through. Look here. I told y'all I was going to do something different with these uh, necks uh, from the low bar. So what I did is I steamed some rice. This bowl kind of hot. Oof. Yeah. Here you go. Yum, yum. Give me some. And I only have some corn and, of course, the turkey necks. And, um some rice i just wanted something different i didn't want the potatoes because i think i'm gonna have some potatoes this weekend with my seafood ball i'm thinking about it anyway all right y'all how y'all doing today y'all know i need my slap your mama i tell y'all all my new subscribers hey all the men that's coming in come on in y'all if, if you know i'm gonna tell y'all right now uh, you know, some Fridays, you know, on this Hood Good Girl Friday live, it's nasty, nice and naughty. Um, yeah, don't miss it. Uh, I think this Friday will be one of those Fridays. So get ready. Yeah. Um, thank you all for your support, for real. Thank you. I mean, I have some great supporters. Yeah. And you know what? We all need each other. Whether we realize it or not, we all need each other. We do. Now, it was something I wanted to talk about. Oh, if y'all have not heard, um, I've seen the, the um, story time challenge uh, with uh, our Fab Five, Jazzy V. Uh, don't miss it. We all gonna have a 30 minute story about ourselves, <clears throat> us Fab Five, and let us let me call you out right now, my beautiful, beautiful queens. It is, it's Vanjie's world, it's kicking with Lynn, it is eating good, it's Jazzy V, and of course, me, that hood girl to the hood, coming right at you. I'm gonna tell y'all something, like eating good said. We came together in God's grace, never met each other face to face, but it's coming and I'm ready. It's going to be a few months, you know, until this COVID thing die down, even if it's going to die down. I think I want a spoon, y'all. Because this rice is in this juice and that juice is really, really good. But, um, yeah, so Jazzy B uh, challenged us to do a 30-minute 
um, a 30 minute story about our lives, our past. And so we, we've done it. Go look at all of our 30 minutes. We had to call out somebody. I forgot to say the name, but I did hashtag um, all things Lolly uh, to do the 30 minute uh, storytelling. And so whomever have a story, no matter what the story is, you can't have no food though. You can only have something to drink. And so, and you have to talk for 30 minutes. Mm-hmm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, I told y'all, with mother from um, Louisiana, we have rice. We had rice all the time. Rice and eggs, rice and butter, rice and hot sauce, rice with gravy. Mm-hmm. We had everything rice. <laughs> we really did. But y'all, it was crazy this morning. Y'all know I've been three years with two boiled eggs in the morning for my for my breakfast and a, and a cup of coffee. I was getting burned out, y'all. So last week, I changed some things. I was like, let me fry an egg. I made an egg sandwich too. This morning, I made uh, two scrambled eggs and some grits. This morning, I ain't want no meat. And now it was just so delicious, y'all. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. So y'all, let's get ready to suck and suck and suck and suck, 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 suck these necks. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me get y'all some. Well, I did give y'all the bowl. But that's okay. Take a bite. Yum, yum. Give me some of that good old hood girl cooking, y'all. Because y'all know I'm a cooker. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 If you don't know, <coughs> that's a hot sauce, y'all. If you don't know, you don't know, but this is good. So look here, it's Taco Tuesday. I never had tacos on a Tuesday. I have to start that right. Oh, y'all remember I said I wanted to make some uh, homemade tacos? Yeah, I was buying some things that I need. Mm -hmm. So I'm ready to do them maybe in another week. Because I, I need to do, I have some uh, snow crabs in the freezer as well as blue crabs. This weekend I have to do um, a seafood bar because I don't like my, 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 my crabs to stay too long in the freezer. So they're gonna have to come out of the freezer into a pot and then into my mouth and down my stomach. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, I want to call out somebody. Jazzy B calls her out a lot. It's, it, even um, um, eating good. Cooking with Judy Caldwell. She did some mustard-based fried tilapia. Y'all. I don't like to fry in my apartment. Cause you know when you find seafood in your apartment, it kind of stay around, you know. Will anybody have something I can do for the for the smell? Yes. If I can open up my patio door to to uh, not have that smell when you fry fish, cause that fish look really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I know I had this is good. As always. Can't be pretty with these turk nets. And you know you can't you can't be too pretty eating that seafood either. Y'all do know that, right? The way we suck them shrimp. <laughs> I'm going to leave that right there. Mm-hmm. Look here. Oh, hot. 
Mm. Y'all, y'all know I must be hungry, right? We didn't even do our toast. Shame on your hood, girl. Here you go. Toast. <coughs> toast to all my handsome men that, that subscribe. Hey, y'all. Mm -hmm. Thank you for my beautiful queens that subscribe. Hey, gorgeous. I'm saluting y'all because you didn't have to do it. So, salute. Salute. Let's sip, sip, sip this good water. Mm -hmm. Toast, y'all. I'm down here by this water, right? Well, COVID uh, had us in the house for two, three months. I want some fresh, fresh, fresh. Oh, you know what? But I don't want to buy the whole bag. Where I go to get all my fresh shrimp and stuff, they have those big old giant bags for crawfish. But I, I can't do the whole bag. I wonder what they sell me like 10 pounds. Because I can eat 10 pounds of them crawfish, y'all. And trust me, I, I can do a boil. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to create something different with my boys. I'm you I already know. I told you I'm tired of them damn sausages. Mm-hmm. And potatoes. I'm going to uh, do some vegetables, or a salad on the side or something. But look here, y'all. <laughs> I watched the news today. Do y'all know I do not like y'all president? I, I, somebody need to send him back to uh, uh, school for speech. He's not a great talker at all. Embrace y'all. He really don't like us. So let me put this out there right now. Go vote. Okay? For everybody near me in the 50 mile radius, if you don't have no freaking car, I'm going to take that day off. Okay? Go vote. I'm going to come pick your ass up. We need to vote. All of us, get yourself out the house. Put your mask on if you want to wear a plastic suit. Put your plastic suit on. Get out your house and vote. And if you don't vote, don't open up your mouth when he do that. Keep doing that stupid shit either. Okay? Don't complain. If you don't vote, don't complain. Just four more years with that fool in the office. It's going to be awful. Mm -hmm. It's going to be scary as hell because he's a dictator. He's a divider. And a separator. That's why I tell y'all. Look at my eyes. Wait, Mac, you know. Let me do this. Look in my eyes. If you don't vote, don't complain. My black kings and queens, we have to get out and vote. Okay? I'll be your road runner if I need to be. Get out and vote. And if you don't, or it should, should he, ooh, should that man get back in office, 
We all, you know, you know what my rant was for the last week or so. And I'm going to start ranting again because it ain't over. I'm not done because I love us. We're going to have to band together without that foolish bull crap. Just saying. You know how they say for real, for real? For real, for real. Honey, we're going to have to let go of that foolishness and we're going to have to come together rough and tough like an Afro puff. For real. Y'all remember I told y'all? <laughs> I'm going to get nasty now, y'all. You know that hood girl got that freaky in her, right? Remember I said a long time ago, why do people eat corn and they look down? It's almost like giving head. You giving head and you, you don't look up. <laughs> I don't know why that came in my mind, y'all. <laughs> mm -hmm. We always, all that lipstick down there. We always look down when we're giving head. So can you ever give head and look up? <laughs> and at the same time. <laughs> mm -mm. Y'all, that season is so good in here. Mm-hmm. But no, on a serious note, we have to. Mm-hmm. I'm sucking y'all. We have to band together. All around. This is damn good. All around this globe, we're going to have to band together, y'all. Uh, and stop fighting against one another. Y'all already know I always say, Stop hating each other for no reason whatsoever. You know, they taught they taught that until our ancestors longer time ago on a sla on that slave field to hate each other, to fight against each other, you know, to separate us because we were too strong together. Okay? Well we have another new day on a new way to do it good, to do it right, to ban. To go to war for us. Get our status back. Get our respect back. I'm going to tell y'all. It's almost time for me to go. I was, uh, I went to the doctor uh, Monday to get some blood work done. You know, because I believe in well woman women. Go do your a checkup every year, you know, do your breast, you know, do it all. Make sure you're in good health. So I was doing my, uh, my, uh, blood work and, uh, the, the receptionist, a white lady, not to say she was prejudiced or anything, but for some reason she had a tone with me and I was like, this bit, this girl, that, what? she raised her tone at me because I asked her a question and it had like six white people behind me. I was, mind you, I'm the only black girl in here. She raised her voice with me with a tone. What y'all think that hood girl did? Comment below. Mm -hmm. What y'all think that hood girl did? Mm -hmm. Comment below. Hmm. I'm not a nasty, ugly girl. I'm a sweet girl. But everybody know how to stand up for themselves. And I can do it with true love. But you're going to remember me as well. So one thing my God gave me, when I had no voice, when I had no words, when he transformed me to who I am today, he gave me the authority to speak. So I did speak with authority when I talked back to her. And I'll tell y'all, 
she changed her tone real fast. Okay. Y'all done looked up. Where has time gone? Oh, Lord. It's time to go, y'all. And I was about to get on the road. I'll see y'all tomorrow. We're going to do something tomorrow. Uh -huh. So look here. Thank you, beautiful kings and queens, for coming back. Let's get ready to sing ourselves out. You ready? Get your singing voice ready. Help a sister out. <laughs> it's time to say goodbye for now. We'll have another chance around on the other side. So whatever you do for the rest of this day, do it good, my God, and do it with love, unconditional, and without a limit. I love y'all. I'll see you on that side. Peace out.